Hola, soy el Mercedes Sosa, and now we're going to talk about vSAN failures. But in particular, we're going, to, we're going to talk about three types of failures, which if you deal with storage, you know that you have permanent device loss, all path down, and now because we're using the network, we're going to have network partition. So how does vSAN, vSphere handle these types of failure? So we're going to assume we have a VM with a BMDK object that has an FTT policy of one and a rate of one. Um, what I will be describing will be similar to the other types of uh, FTT processes, uh, options that you have for the SPBM. Uh, so just to keep it simple, uh, use one with a rate one, uh, it's easy to see. So the first one we want to talk about is a permanent device loss. Permanent device loss means that I am 100% certain that you are dead. Th that's what it means. And usually that means that whoever died or is about to die sends a message that says, hey, I'm dying, save yourselves, right? So the host that has the BMDK, the, the VM that is running it, uh, is sending write commands to here and here, or read, right, IOPS. He's sending it to both of them. Now, what happens if, let's say, component number one, either the capacity disk itself uh, sends an error message, a smart alarm saying, hey, I died, or the SSD, the cache drive says, hey, I'm dead. In both of those cases, the component is unavailable. In the case of the cache being the one that dies, that means that the whole disk group is unavailable, which means that every component in the disk group is unavailable. In either case, the host will tell the vSAN cluster, hey, dude, uh, that component, yeah, it's not available anymore, sorry. So that happens right away, no delay, basically. So when that happens, the source host immediately uh, uh, works with the vSAN cluster and goes, hey, I need another place to put that component because I have an SPBN of FTT1 and a rate of one, so I'm not in compliance right now. So when that happens, for that, for that moment of time where you don't have the second component, the object itself is on a degraded state. So anytime you hear degraded st state in vSense, that means that you have an IPDL situation and the cluster at this moment is working to recover that lost component. In this scenario, we have a host this one that and that one, both of them, that could be candidates for the component one. So let's assume that this host is selected to take component one. In that case, what happens immediately, as, this, as, soon, as, as soon as this guy is selected, the component two, the other replica, this host starts replicating itself over. So this component can match this one. At the same time, the source host right away starts sending over the new writes to this guy. New rights to this guy, new rights to this guy. And that helps us speed up the recovery. So that's what happens when a permanent device loss. Uh, we know if somebody's dead, we need to recover right away. If by any, for whatever reasons, there is not enough physical components, said you only had a three host cluster, your SPBM policy will stay as degraded for that VM because there is no other component that can be leveraged to satisfy uh, the policy. Uh, now, in this example, I put a single disk group in each host. If if, in the case that is the capacity disk that dies here, the other capacity disk will be candidates to host that component. If the disk group dies and this host has no other disk groups, then yeah, you have to go to another host. All right, so that's permanent device loss. What does all path down means? It means that I can I don't hear for you. Where are you? Where did you go? Something happened to you, but I'm not sure if you're dead, you went on vacation, you're having lunch. I have no idea what happened to you. So when there is an old path down, BSAN by default goes, okay, I haven't heard from this guy, let's say the host, uh, somebody unplugged the network cable or somebody put out the power cord, which never happens. Um, so this host is no longer responding. So by default, SCSI, the host is going to go, okay, uh, I'm going to wait about five seconds. After those five seconds, I'm going to assume that you are not coming back anytime soon. So I'm going to continue to write over here, right? Right over here. And I'm going to wait 60 minutes by default before I change your policy from absent, right? And I start recovering. And when I start recovering, I will follow the same process I followed before. I will find another candidate to put the component that's missing over there. I will start writing over here, and this guy will start replicating. However, if during that process, you come back, I'm going to, Vsan goes, wait a minute, you came back. So what's different between the time you were gone and now what's the difference between this and how much do I have to go to finish this replication? 
And BSAM will determine, is it more efficient to continue replicating this way or go back to the other guy and just give him what he's missing? Uh, another thing about old path down that I mentioned about a host being unavailable, but an old path down can also be that somebody walk into your server room at the data center and pull out the disk. There was no error message, so as far as we know, we don't know what happened to the disk. So that would be also another path down. And finally, the other failure, uh, which is a network partition, will be similar to doing this. These two guys cannot see these three guys. Now, from a BSAM perspective, this two, what's happening here is that, remember the components are over here, just to keep it simple, this BN is no longer reaching the BSAN data store. So BSAN, uh, BSphere HA comes in, kicks in, and goes, oh, that host is isolated. Uh, you should have a PD, a PD or an APD of shut down the VM when this happens. So BSphere HA will shut down that VM, and HA will recover that VM over here. As far as these hosts are concerned, if they were holding any other components of that VM, because they're no longer in uh, the majority here, the witnesses here and the components here, let's say, then that guy would tell the HA part, hey, I'm the only guy from that component, uh, I'm one of three, therefore I'm no longer available, you gotta use those over there. So that kind of covers it for BSAM, what, what is, how BSAM handles failures. Thank you for watching, yo soy Ever Sosa.